got him here now. Body size. Blood pressure 70, pulse 130, respiration weak. Drag the patient. Blood pressure is dropping. Start two IVs, two liters of normal saline, six units of negative. Uh, one amp up on effort. He's failing, doctor. Charge. Clear. Nothing. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing, Doctor. I'll get an orderly. ID or are you Peter Pan? <laughs> I'm Danny. Celia. Hi. Hi. So are you up here for a weekend with your buddies, Danny? All by myself. Really? You know, it's so hot in here, I can't breathe. Would you like to take a walk with me, Danny? You're staring. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just your... I'm what? I'm beautiful? Intriguing. Can't put your finger on it, can you, Danny? Uh, you're, you're cute. Not cute, Danny. I'm never cute. Come on, Alicia. Whoa. What? Daddy, go! Wait, wait! Celia? Where'd you go? Celia? Oh, shit. It's just me. I about had a heart attack. You're not angry with me, are you, Danny? Where'd you go? It's magic. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Ah. Ah, hey, easy. Come on, let's go. Where? Just come on. Go home. Come with me. The truck's right here.
food. You're right. I think so. You hungry? Shut up. You know, you should have taken him, baby. The kid was putty in your hands. Not that I wasn't touched, I was. He liked me, all right? So do I, Cece. You don't have to be lonely. You can be with me. Max wouldn't like that. Oh, come on. Max can hardly stand the sight of you. But me, on the other hand, I love every inch of you. Leave me alone. You know I'm telling you the truth. Max can't stand you. Yeah, we're going to do an IVP tomorrow at 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see them. Okay, bye. What the hell is the matter with you? You should have come in hours ago. You haven't noticed, Princess. This isn't a restaurant. I can't very well pop it in the microwave for you now, can I? Come on. Think of all the starving children. I was home at 7.30. Thank Aww. you very much. Yeah. Ah. Hey, Danny, I want you to call me at work today if Charlie gets any worse, okay? You know you say that every day? Yes, but I'm worried. Look, doctor said everything's fine. No, that's not what he said, Danny. He said the test came back normally from All Friday. right, all right. You know, uh, the Potters are checking out today. No, they said, um, Wednesday. Look, it's nothing against us, Nina. It's getting too cold. Summer's over, that's all. Anybody else coming? No. Hey, 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 shh. Hey, hey. Still not a morning person. Oh. 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 Nina? Nina. Hey, come on. What's the matter? I can't stand it anymore. What? I need a white knight. You know what I'm saying, Danny? I mean, some mornings I wake up and I think, how did this happen? Tyler's always sick. I've got no money, no husband, enough blind dates from hell to set a record. <laughs> it just gets to me. Hey, you have me. Yeah, but you can't stay here all winter. You gotta get back to school. Ah, uh, what for? I like it here. I don't want to go anywhere. You don't? No. Hey, I'm your brother. You need me? I'm here. <laughs> I love you. Mm. Oh. I gotta get to work. Okay. You watch Tyler, okay? You are uh, going out tonight? Nope. Another unsuitable suitor bites the dust. <laughs> Come stand, kissing him goodnight. <laughs> See ya. Where was I? It was here, high in the forest above Lake Serenity, where a teenage boy was killed last night in what appears to be a coyote attack. It has sent yet another shockwave through this sleepy mountain resort where earlier this month, a woman was killed in a similar attack. 
Authorities are looking for a possible witness to the attack. The owner of an antique necklace found at the scene. The necklace has an ornate pendant set with a large garnet. Police are asking anyone with information about the necklace or the owner to please come forward. That's our live report. Back to you in the studio. Jane? Look, Bill, I, I need a little time off from the bank. Yeah, 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 you've been great. And if you could just stay great for another 30 seconds, I... Okay, yeah, yeah, I've been a little distracted. But, Bill, two of my friends were murdered last year, and I, and I lost Kate. I mean, they won't let me see her, talk to her. No, I can't let it go. Look, I need the time off. What's it gonna take? No. No, no, you listen, Bill. There's a million goddamn banks out there. You wanna fire me? You wanna fire me, Bill? Fine. It's... What? Another call? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll stay in touch. Nina Black. Yes. Hello, I'm Dr. Shrek. Hello. This is my son, Tyler. Hello, Tyler. Would you come with me, please? Please, come in. Now, let's take it easy, okay? What seems to be the problem? I don't know. Nobody seems so to. You know, he just cries all the time. I took him to the hospital for some tests and I couldn't find anything. I need a closer look. Uh, I have to check a few things. Um, could you please wait here a minute? I gave him something to boost his red cell count. Do you know what's wrong with him? No. You're Tyler's natural mother, Mrs. Black? Nina. And uh, no, he's adopted. Hmm. What do you know about his parents? Nothing. It was set up that way. And his father left a few months after we got Tyler. He couldn't handle it. The fantasy's a long shot from the reality, you know. Boyfriend? No. I'm with the patient, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Oh, that's a cute kid. Is it a boy? Yeah. Look, excuse me, this is Tom. He's an old friend. Actually, I'm his brother. But you'd have to skin him alive to get him to admit it. Who are you? There isn't much I can tell you, I'm afraid. Uh, no, but I'm sure everything's going to be just fine. That's it? Yes, please see the nurse at the front desk. Bye.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I, uh, I've been ringing the doorbell for hours, and the door was ajar. And I heard Tyler screaming, and I, I thought something was wrong. I was worried. Uh, well, we're fine. Good. Oh, please, come in. Thank you. Please, have a seat. Come on, then, big boy. Let's have a look at you. Yeah. Yes, I know. I know. No, it's been so frustrating. One doctor says he's going to grow out of it, and then another okay. one says he needs more tests. You're the only one that seems to know what to do for him. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. How does he look? He looks sleepy. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. He's going to be fine tonight. I just wanted to make sure. Look, I wish I could tell you more. Well, I really appreciate this, doctor. It means a lot. I was feeling like no one cared. Please call me Max. <sighs> the flirt. I'll kill him. <laughs> you don't fucking get it, huh? Your old hat. Salvation Army material. Don't be an ass. He brought me in. He seduced me. He's brought in a thousand women. The only reason he keeps you around is to clean up the house. You're wrong. He adores me. Sure, baby. Tell me more. He's been getting by on plasma. That's what the problem is. He hasn't made a kill in months. You don't fucking get it, do you? I'm his own brother. And he brought me in. Then he packed me off to the West, said I was cramping his style. Really? Yeah, really. If you're his brother, where's your ex? I gave it up. This is my territory, baby. Movie stars, car phones, the land of opportunity. That snake had no business coming over here. So the Eastern Bloc countries are a little depressed. You think I give a shit? No. Let me tell you some cupcake. This is my place. You're either with me or against me. And don't think Maxi Baby is gonna help you. Because he's not. He's got a new girl now. Okay. I'm with you. That a girl. Besides, old shitheads become quite a stiff. Hey. Do you know what I always like to say? It's fun to have fun. But you got to know how. <laughs> I have 
children. Oh, I'll kiss them goodnight for you. <laughs> What happened? Another coyote attack. Excuse me. What? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, who's in charge? Is there a detective here? You have to let me through. I have some information. Okay, stick with me. As I can figure, glass breaks here, falls this way. I don't know how they got in, but whatever they did, the number on them, it's got blood, contusions everywhere. I'm figuring at some point they had to come in. I got a guy out here that says... In just a minute. Couldn't have been a coyote. Must be a wolf. Well, if it was, how did he get in? It wasn't any wolf. How do you know? Are you in charge? That's right. Look, I've... I've seen this before. The way they kill, the way they... Hey, wait a minute. You think I'm kidding? Listen to me. I didn't see the victims, all right? But they had uh, claw marks across their neck, didn't they? And, and, and bites all over, like, like a dog had ripped chunks out of him, right? Am I right, huh? Cuff him. What? Are you guys serious? You have the right to remain silent. I don't want to remain silent. Anything I know what's going on. Saying, you got to listen to me. You don't want to do this. Up. Listen to Tell me. Tell me down the at right? the station. Daddy! Daddy! What are you doing? Oh, oh, this is my new plan. See, I, I figure we'll be vacant until ski season starts. The money's going to be a little tight. These wood things sell for a mint. <laughs> it's a great bear. No, it's a cow. Oh, <laughs> my brother, the artist. Look, my lunch break's over. i got to get back to the marina. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. i got the baby monitor right here. Okay, but don't leave my alone too long, all right? I won't. Bye. bye. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot. Found us on the mat for you this morning. Oh, thanks. See ya.
going, boy. Get outside. Good evening. Hello. I'm glad you came. May I take your coat? Yes, thank you. It's a lovely room. Thank you. Please. Look, since it's just the two of us, I thought we'd be informal and meet in here. It's much cosier. It's lovely. Here we are. Oh, thank you. Red wine's all right, I hope. Yes. Have you lived here long? About a year. Why? Well, I thought you could use a couch. <laughs> or two. <laughs> you know, you're right. I'm not going to say another word. <laughs> not until you do. <laughs> okay. Okay, the real story. Real story? Mm -hmm. I used to be quite a collector. Mm -hmm. Some art. And some furniture. Furniture? Good furniture. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. And then one day I decided that I, I didn't want things anymore. Mm -hmm. I, do you think that's strange? Well, actually, no. I think it's kind of refreshing. Good. Because that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> you know, just leave it all behind. Leave it all behind? Mm -hmm. Where? Different places. Romania, mostly. Romania? Mm -hmm. Is that home? Home? What's that? I didn't know it was a difficult question. Well, now you know. <laughs> so why did you leave this Romania? Well, at that time, most of my family had left. And I'd always had this fascination with the Americas. So what, you just pack up and leave? Well, in a manner of speaking. But you see, wherever there are people, there need to be doctors. True. And so did you find what you were looking for? Oh, yes, I think so. <sighs> Why don't you eat something? You're making me feel like a pig. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Nina. I'm not going anywhere. You mean like my husband? <gasps> Max, you hardly know me. I don't know about you. But I do know you. You just haven't found what you need. That's not true. I... It's absolutely true. What are you saying? Never settle. I've got a surprise for you. A little treat I've planned. Come on. Oh, you're romantic.
Are you all right? Wait, let's have a look. I'm sorry about the horse. I... It's okay. Going out there. You're an ice cube. I wanted to see you. Wait a minute. Come here, Danny. How'd you get up here? Well, for that matter, how'd you find me? Well, I have a lot of tricks you should know about. I know. I don't. I only have to take it all. Wanna kiss me, Danny? Uh-huh. So come here then. I've been thinking about you. Anything like the dreams I've had about you? <laughs>
you are an odd duck planting, and I can't figure you out. I already told you who the killer is. But you can't take me to him. I don't know where he is yet. Who are you kidding, planting? There's no Vlad Tepish up here. You show me a drawing of some joker in a book, and you say he's 500 years old, you say that's him. You know something? You're making my mad wolf theory sound very reasonable. Look, what happened in L.A. last year is happening up here. The case is closed. The killer is dead. There was an accident in the lab when they were analyzing his remains. The, the technician cut her hand and some drops of blood mixed in. The next thing she knew, the, the place exploded. Jesus, plenty. After the explosion, the, the canister with the remains in it was completely empty. Now, remains don't just disappear, do they? I mean, even after an explosion, you'd have something left behind, some trace, something. You know, I left the city to get away from nuts like you. you know, I don't know what you want. I, I told you about the necklace. I described it to you. Well, maybe you read about it in the papers. Maybe you heard it on the news. Now, look, you want to come up with some hard evidence, I'll talk to you. But don't go psycho on me. I don't want some one-man hit team running around in my mountains. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I think I got the gist of it. Now, come on. Somebody wants to talk to you. What? Yeah. Hi, Dollface. Rough day, hmm? This is unbelievable. What else? Oh, come on. How about a little nightcap? No, Jane. No way. You know, sometimes, Martin, you're just adorable. Yeah, and you're dead. Well? Well, I'm not arguing. I mean, worse things could happen to a girl. Never get a day older, never gain another pound. Come on, honey. Let's get a drink, huh? you here too? Mm hmm We're like birds, doll. We travel in flocks. Oh, you're a very good-looking bird, Jane. <laughs> well, you got that right, Marty. What are you doing here? I'm looking for him. What name is he using this time? No, Martin, you really don't want to do that. It's gonna pay. It's too late, sweetie. Do you know what you're gonna do? When you get up in the morning, you're gonna get in your car and go home. I can't. Marty, please. Come on, Jane, just help me. Look, I've got a great body, doll. I would like to keep my limbs attached. Martin. Oh, my. My, oh, my. What have we here? Mm -mm. Come on, Jane, show me where he lives. We can do it together. I've got a big fish to fry. Go see Nina at the Sky Forest B&B. She needs you. Who? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for Nina. Nina! There's some guy here to see you. Honestly, Danny, snap out of it. You're sleeping the whole day away. <sighs> yeah. Hi, my name is Martin Planting. Look, no thanks. We don't want any. No, 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 no. I'm not selling anything. I... <sighs> that looks like a Bible to me. Does this guy's face look familiar? What if it does? Look, can I talk to you for a minute? Please, it's very important. Okay, come on. Just let me open up this place a bit. Hey, Danny, could you take Tyler up so I don't wake him? Oh. Danny, you feel all right? I'm fine.
My bad boys. Sleep all day, up all night. Yeah. Have a seat. Well? Well, I don't, I don't know exactly how to say this, but the man in the drawing is, is not who you think he is. Then who is he? Well, what do you know about him? <laughs> I know he's a wonderful doctor. He helped my baby. Well, he's a doctor. Yeah, Dr. Shrek in the emergency room. The night shift. Look, look, Nina, you don't know me from Adam, but this guy is very dangerous. He, his name isn't Shrek, it's Tepish. Vlad Tepish. Does that mean anything to you? Nothing. Look, I, I know this is gonna sound really crazy, but he, he's the guy Dracula was based on. Uh, look, <laughs> I, I, I know, but it's all in this book about what he did to people, the vampirism, the, the terrible thing. You are thing. trying to sell me this no. book. You asshole. Asshole? I'm, I'm trying to warn you. This guy is not Dr. Wonderful. He traumatized my fiance so badly, she can't even pull out of it. He's turned That's a couple enough. of my... I don't want to hear anymore. I want you out of here. One more thing. That guy, Danny? That's my brother. Well, look at him. His face is so white, he looks dead. He had a late night. Oh, so he hasn't seemed any different to you lately, huh? Jesus, Danny. The only thing different about my brother is he's taken up the most irritating new hobby. Goodbye, Mr. Martin. Martin? Planting. I'll tell you what, I'll send somebody down, we'll pop you next week, take some pictures and see what we've got. All right. been any fever? I don't think so, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Come on, then, big boy. Oh. oh, nice. Can you please take time to 12.34? Thank you. See you, darling. Dr. Corday, Dr. Corday, reception. Dr. You're crude, Tom. Is the baby hungry? I'd love to feed him. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> There is no excuse for you. Clean up your mess and get out. 
I haven't had my dessert yet. Where's Nina? She's not your concern. Oh, that's mighty protective of you. Downright fatherly. Have you gone deaf, Tom? Now get the lady out of here. You see, I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Okay. You know what boggles my mind? What's that, Tom? The coincidence. Here we have a kid who's six months old. You go back another nine months, and where were you, Maxie? In the sack, fucking and feeding. I told you to kill that girl. As a matter of fact, I offered to do it for you. Well, apparently we do things a little differently. No shit. And where are you now? You got a kid that's half turned? What are you gonna do, be a daddy? You are way out of line. Oh, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy for you. Yeah. I mean, your family is my family. You touch them and I'll rip you apart. Okay, okay. You don't need to get upset. I mean, you're really quick on the uptake, aren't you? You can't quite figure out why I picked this hick town. It's a real stumper, isn't it? Hey, I finally got it. Yeah, well, get this. I'm changing the rules. There's no more killing. You're shitting me. I've never been more serious about anything in my life. Are you crazy? We're an institution, you and me. You can't just take tradition and throw it out the window. We need the chase. You can always run to the blood bank. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's a lot of fun. Can't you for once in your life just do as I say? No! Because you're not the final word anymore, pal. You got it? Don't be afraid. There's just something I want you to know. You see, there's so much more to me than what you see. Now, if you can imagine every evil in the world, well, I carry a piece of it. But there's a good side, too. And it's more beautiful than anything you can possibly fathom. I want us to be together, Nina. I've been alone a long time, and I'm tired of it. What you're feeling is meant to be. You're a lamb to the slaughter. Daddy! Daddy! What? What's the matter? You didn't hear anything? No. You must have been dreaming, Nina. Go back to sleep. Most often the vampire kills its prey, but the beast is also human and sensual. Perhaps for company or the pleasure of seduction, the vampire will seek out an innocent, turning them into a creature of the dark by draining their blood in a series of feedings until the victim is weakened to the point of death. Then the vampire will feed his victim with his own vampire blood and thus undead to wander in bloodlust for the endless nights. Watch 
Uh, medium grade. Good choice. You know, the really great dock lines tend to disappear on you. Do you want this on your dad's tab, too? Uh-huh. Here you go. Ah, see ya. Right. See you guys. Joe, I'll close up. You go home. You sure? Mm-hmm. I want to get this paperwork under control before it buries me. Well, I don't like you staying here too late. Not after what happened to the Johnson kid. That was in the woods, Joe. No coyote's gonna come down to the lake. I'll only be a while. Okie okay, doke. Good night. Good night. Hmm. Pretty dense not to. You're Tom, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what are you doing out here? Bang at the moon. Well, you picked a really good night for it. It's nice seeing you, Tom. Can I help you with something? Help me? guy, nice boat, a beautiful woman. Some guys work their whole lives for this.
Is my place. You play by my rules. You haven't made a kill in months. You're as weak as a puppy. Fuck with me and you'll die. Cecilia. Hello? What happened to you? <laughs> Danny, are you drunk? You shouldn't be using this thing if you're drinking. Come on, relax. We're just having some fun, right? I thought you were making a bear. Are you done babysitting? Can we get out of here now? Uh-huh. I think we should go back to my house and install our creation. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, boss? I don't care, Danny. Do whatever you want. I'll leave you alone. Conserve energy. <laughs> don't bother. <laughs>
Where'd you go? Did your girlfriend live up at Max's house? Yeah. Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell me? I was there, Danny. I saw those things you were making. What are you so mad about? I want to know what's going on up there. Nothing. I hang out with Sue. It's a beautiful place, and it's a fucking estate. Oh, dear. Hey, stop. Hey, come now. What's wrong with you? What's happening to us, Danny? Richard, get him safe, huh? Get you another beer? No, thanks. Hey, do you know Jane? Uh, you know, tight clothes, short skirts, kind of dark hair? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, she hasn't been around here the last couple of nights. Yeah, I know. I, I've been here. I, I was sure she was going to come in. Yeah, yeah, who knows with women, huh? They're around so long you think they're part of the decoration, and then one day, poof, they pull a Houdini on you. The cape drops down, then a little smoke appears. You never see him again. You think you could explain it, huh? You can't. There's just no explaining it. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for the insight. Yeah, it goes with the job. Listen, if she happens to poof back in here, tell her Martin's looking for her. Yeah, yeah, sure. Gorgeous. I don't have much time. What's wrong? They saw me with you. Who, who did? The others. I don't know how and I don't know when. But I just ran, Marty. I've been hiding in the woods in somebody's basement. Doesn't matter anyway. The sun creeps in everywhere. Look at me. Oh, Jesus. Not exactly a beauty queen, huh? I gotta get you to a hospital. You need a doctor. Oh, sure. With Max working, right? Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Jane. This is all my fault. I dragged you into this. Don't worry. I'm going to help you, doll face. Where's the house? Right there, just on the other side of the hill. See, between the trees. All right, I don't have much time. I just want you to show me where he sleeps. I'm not going any further. What am I supposed to do? Drop breadcrumbs along the way? Come on, he's at the hospital. He won't know. But look, the sun is almost up. He'll be leaving Come soon. Come on, Jane, let's go. What was that? I have to get out of here. Jane, you'll be all right. It isn't just Max. Don't tell me. I'm finally getting a little respect around here. I think I like it. Hi. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood tour guide. No thanks, I brought my own. Oh, she's got other plans. Tom, no, please. You into Kinky Martin? Jane is. How'd you know my name? Because I'm one smart fucker, aren't I? <laughs> please, no. No! <laughs> Let it go! Listen, you little fuck. Stick around, because you're history. You got it! Jane? Ah, shit, Jane! Come along, little doggy. No! Run, Martin! Get out of here! I don't need to! Go! <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. A man's home is his castle. If I wanted an open house... <laughs> I would have sent out invitations, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I, huh? I'm sorry. What I'm sorry I've been mean. So much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Tom! Tom! Oh, Tom! Oh, Tom! Oh, baby. I hope you didn't forget your sunscreen. No! Tom! Tom! No! Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'm telling you, Max is responsible for what's happening to Danny. But Max didn't do anything to Danny. That girl did. Nina, it all starts with him. This goes back centuries. Nobody lives forever. Look, it's time to wake up. Max Shrek is Vlad Tepish. He killed 20,000 people in Romania. He impaled them on spikes and let them die. Screaming. He staged a banquet for all the unfit in his country. Made a big show of his generosity, brought them all in, locked the doors, and then he burned it down. Now, you want to turn your brother over to this guy? That guy is not Max. Oh, that's what you want to believe. Look, I know what he does to women. You think you're the first one? He had Kate so hypnotized, I couldn't compete. And you're just like Kate. You're caught up with it. Caught up? You don't know how I feel. Look, I'm going to the police. I'm going to show them where the house is. I'm going to get it done while it's still light. Well, what if you're wrong? I'm not wrong. Just do what I say. Now, I'm coming straight back when I'm done. You wait for me, understand? Wait for me. your lunch. Oh, what's that smell? It's chicken soup. Oh, oh. oh, come on, Danny, stop it. I've had enough. Oh, God, Danny. How could you let her do this to you? I like it. Well, it's over. I want you back, Danny. You're going to stay away, and you're going to eat this. Fuck oh. away from me. It's okay. It's okay. You're hungry? You've got to be hungry. Come on. Let's have a bottle. Come on. I know you need this, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Let's have something to eat. Come on. Come on. Come on, now. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's try go back to sleep. Come on. Come on now. Come on. off tonight. Um, Dr. Mason can help you. Uh, no. Max. What? I need to see 
Max. <laughs> Nina, what's the matter? <laughs> I love you, Danny. Quickly, come with me. I want to know what's going on. Let me see my boy. Your boy? He's my son, Nina. What are you talking about? He's not your son. He needs to eat. I tried feeding him. You're starving him. Don't you understand? I can't stand it anymore. It can't be half in your world and half in mine. No, Max! No. It's feeding time at the OK Corral. No! Be my baby! You make one move, and I'll break his little neck. You got it? This is an unhappy baby, Maxie. But don't you worry. Don't worry about a thing. Because old Tommy is going to bring him in all the way. This is going too far. Just let him go. Max, do something. No, Tom. Don't do this. Yum, yum, baby. Max! Max! through with you. Well, I'm through with you. See ya. <laughs> Danny! Danny! Are we having fun yet? Atta boy, Danny. Nice work. I'll step aside. Danny. Me, Danny. Come on, baby, give me the kid. Stay away. Come on, baby. Give me the kid. No, stay away. Look, I'm a patient man. Up to a point. And I got the both of you. Any way you slice it. So you can have a kid before I really get upset. Do you understand? Stay away from us. I guess I'm gonna make myself very clear. Do your kid! Come on. Don't do this. Oh. With your head. You shit. You arrogant bastard. You still think power is about breaking the rules. You can't control me. No! Oh, <laughs> 
Excuse no, me. No, get away. Look at him. He's going to die. Max, please. Please. He's my son, Nina. I won't let him go. And you can't change what he is. No. No, Max, please. Let us go. I can't. I have to protect him. Don't you understand? There are too many others. They'll come for him and they'll teach him how to kill. Look at me, Nina. Look at me! Is this what you want? I can't change what I am, Nina. But you have to trust me. I want you with me. Don't deny our love. Nina, the darkness can be so beautiful. Thank you.